What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we received update 2.44 for Destiny 2. This is Hotfix 4.0.0.3. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description below if you'd like to read over them for yourself. First of all, they talked about fixing an issue within the well springs that allowed players to remain safely outside of the boss fight area during the fight instead of being pulled into the room. They also fixed an issue where players were not receiving wellspring rewards if they haven't picked up any armor from Finch in the throne world. Also, bad luck protection has been added for weapon drops and deep sight mods in the wellspring. This does not uh, apply to regular everyday life. It says, sorry. Also fixed an issue with wellspring completion rewards that will make it less likely for players to obtain a powerful or pinnacle drop in the same slot multiple times in a row. In Gambit, they fixed an issue where level advantages were enabled in PvP Gambit. In Gambit, repeatable bounty uh, tweaks were uh, also done today. Weapon kills reduced from 25 to 15. Grenade and melee kills reduced from 15 to 5. And super kills reduced from 15 to 10. They reduced the amount of invader kill heals uh, the primeval from 27 to 20%. When it comes to altars of reflection, they fixed an issue with the altars of reflection not showing up properly for all characters. In the throne world, just in general, they fixed an issue where players would sometimes get stuck at the entrance of the palace. Also, AI spawn points have been adjusted after spawn points were skewed, resulting in enemies spawning in the same spot more rapidly than intended. They also fixed an issue where Ikora's hive ritual introduction dialogue that played a glitch audio file. They fixed an issue where deep sight chest would not appear. Also, they fixed an issue where targets would not spawn for players to destroy in the canal deep sight puzzle. Players will now also be able to respawn properly after being respawned from a turn back message at Sabathun fight during the ritual mission. Also for battlegrounds, the EDZ intel and reward chest will now stay spawned at their intended rate, no longer uh, doing that 10 second kind of mark thing. Also, the Second, a uh, Lucent Portal Wizard will now spawn with all proper shields. Fix an issue where players could soft lock the activity by taking down the wizard when it spawns unprotected. For the Vox Obscure mission, they fixed an issue where reward progression was not tracking for the Exotic Sparrow. Also, they updated the Triumph description of the Old Foes Rise Again to indicate the four weekly messages needed to be acquired. Also, they had some UI fixes, some UX fixes, uh, where the waypoints were... Uh, titles and things like that were not working correctly or as intended. They fixed an issue where finishers and emote previews were being delayed. I'm sure most of you have noticed that over the last uh, few weeks since the update came out that anytime you went to look at an emote or a you know preview it, it would like play but you couldn't see it. It's like it was almost kind of sitting there spinning. You have to wait a few minutes and then hit preview again. So that has been fixed also. And the addition of new blue banners in game to help new players learn the game can now be removed from popping up for those who are already familiar with the Destiny 2. Also, armor mods for Glaives now drop from World Engrams and can be sold by 801. And they also fixed an issue where Glaive armor mods would not appear in collections. They fixed an issue where Aeon Safe Titan exotic arms were not showing in familiar gold stripe. Tracking rockets have been adjusted after being found too dominant against Guardians when invading in Gambit. This includes Grand Overture and tracking against AI. Uh, enemies remains unchanged. They fixed an issue with the Aikilos SMG received that 40% damage buff. The Warcliffe Coal Rocket Launcher damage has been restored to its original parameters and they also fixed an issue where regarding the Grand Overture's ability to generate more than half of the intended ammo. They increased the Grand Overture's reserve ammunition from 20 to 40 resulting in a max of 60. They fixed an issue where the Iron Banner weapon special effects would shut off in Iron Banner origin trait was active. They also fixed an issue with an enhanced golden tricorn perk would activate on ranged melee kills. When it comes to weapon crafting, they also made some changes. Uh, they fixed an issue where the reshaping Enigma quest could be bypassed. They fixed an issue where the uh, Ostrega catalyst would ask for full catalyst cost. They enhanced one, two punch now only requires 10 to 12 pellets to hit the target to proc the melee buff. The base trait and the enhanced trait duration have been changed to 1.22 seconds. Also, they fixed a few abilities within the game and some things within the HDR and some general fixes where quests were not working correctly. Also, some of the deluxe edition issues focusing now cost 10,000 glimmer and 50 legendary shards and some small things like that. But pretty much I want to let you guys know exactly what was going on within this, uh, you know, in this update itself. It's a pretty good sizable update with a lot of small changes. So if you want to read over everything for yourself, like I said, it will be linked down in the description. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.